Versailles follows the story of King Louis XIV's controversial reign before and after he moved his court from Paris to Versailles officially in 1682. Louis XIV, played by George Blagden, known as Louis the Great or the Sun King, was the longest reigning monarch of a sovereign country in European history, reigning for 72 years. The show traces true historical events with a dramatization of secrets, politics, lies, infidelity and brutality within the Palace of Versailles and on the streets of Paris that characterized Louis' reign. The show is jointly aired on Canal Plus in France and on Super Channel in Canada. Unfortunately, the UK is behind France and Canada, which has already aired the final season. Versailles currently airs every Monday at 9pm on BBC2 and you catch up with each episode on iPlayer after it airs on TV. Set in the 17th century at a time when the female was largely seen as inferior to males biologically, mentally and emotionally, viewers are wondering who the powerful woman Françoise d'Aubigny, Marquise de Maintenon is, Catherine Walker, Co-Express. Ux spoke exclusively to Professor Thomas Monk from the University of Glasgow to find out more about Françoise and the wider place of women during the 72-year reign of King Louis XIV. How to watch Versailles on Lenoir was Françoise d'Aubigny, Marquise de Maintenon. Françoise d'Aubigny, Marquise de Maintenon was the second wife of Louis XIV of France. Their marriage was never officially announced as it was deemed as morganatic, meaning it could never be officially recognized due to their differing social ranks. Their different social status also meant she could never become the future Queen of France. Louis XIV was previously married to Maria Theresa of Spain which was an arranged union purely for political gain by their parents. He had numerous mistresses only eight of whom were officially documented. Louis XIV was most unfaithful to his first wife. Only one legitimate child survived past the age of five, Louis, Dauphin of France. He had more children with his mistresses than his wife. Of Louis XIV's first marriage, Professor Monk said, royal marriages were of course always arranged, and Louis did produce the necessary heirs with his queen, but very quickly got bored with her and was chasing other women at least from the 1660s, producing various illegitimate children in the process. Françoise was first introduced to Louis XIV through her first marriage to Paul Scarron, who brought her into a more elite social circle. After Maria Theresa's death in 1683, he secretly married Françoise. After her first husband's death in 1660, she could no longer afford to live in Paris. Before she left, she met Madame de Montespan, one of King Louis' lovers. Madame de Montespan had the king reinstate her late husband's pension so Françoise could stay in Paris. Madame de Montespan gave birth to Louis' XIV child, Louis August, Duke of Maine in 1670 and placed the baby in the care of Françoise. Françoise was provided with a large house, servants and a huge income so very different from the life she used to lead and soon became a royal governess, who is in the cast of Versailles. What was her importance to Louis XIV's reign? Series 3 of Versailles accurately depicts France in turmoil during the 1670s, particularly Paris which is suffering from overcrowding, poverty, ill health caused by sewage and poor lighting. King Louis believes the only way to solve these problems is through the same way he financed his wars, by raising taxes much to the people's anger, leading to riots in the streets. Louis is also more focused on securing France as the leading European power, making political moves to expand its territory. Throughout this chaos, she remained one of the king's closest advisors and an influential impact on his rule well before they were married. Her title as royal governess meant she had the ability to speak to the king as her equal and in 1675 he gave her the title of Marquise de Maintenon named after the estate she lived in. It is believed that she did not enter into al relations with the king when he was still married to his queen and instead she organized mistresses for him, as shown in the show. Professor Monk said, most of these mistresses, and the queen, had little obvious influence on state policy. But Mme de Maintenon was different, quite devout, at least by court standards, and exploiting Louis XIV's naivety in some areas. It was undoubtedly Maintenon, for example, who helped, with the senior clergy, push Louis into the catastrophically stupid annulment of the Edict of Nantes in 1685, leading to the expulsion of perhaps one quarter million Huguenots from France. Louis himself left lots of state documentation, but of course no clear clues of what she had pushed him into. He was probably as self-centered, and as ready to deny everything, as Trump is nowadays. Whereas Versailles filmed, 
where is it set? She was almost always by the king's side and historians have debated over the extent of her political influence. Historian Mark Barrett argues that she was the most powerful person after the king, the equivalent of a prime minister. Although she did not have the official title, people approached her as it was believed in court she had greater influence than the queen. However, others will point to the fact that overall, she had no official position at court which weakened her authority during the reign of King Louis. She set up the Maison Royale de Saint Louis, a school for poor girls. Her real influence was in education and religion. Darline Gay Levy argues that her school influenced the demands of the Society of Revolutionary Republican Women, the first female revolutionary political group in 1793. Pope Innocent XIA granted her the right of visitation over all the convents in France. Professor Monk said of Francoise, she was clearly a rather formidable woman in her own right, exploiting what most historians see as a turn towards the gloomy side, by Louis himself. In the second half of his reign, illnesses, military defeats, very severe economic crisis in France in the 1690s Versailles season 3 is on BBC2, Mondays at 9pm.